Well, busy night in the weather department, lots going on, and you can see things changing already on well, your Well, things are changing because of these clouds, uh -huh. these very high clouds. It's also causing a lot of the yeah. phone calls for tonight. Take a look at this. This is a picture from Lori of... Uh, Schrader. Schrader, thank Lauren you. Lauren Schrader. I couldn't thank see you, Lauren. there. Thank you. And what you see there is the moon with the rings around the moon. Those Nothing rings. to worry about. No. no. Don't this, panic. This is not the end of the world or, or any... It doesn't... Actually, seeing rings around the moon is quite often tells us that a new storm system is headed our way. And that's the first, uh, first indication of moisture in the atmosphere. In this case, though, this, these rings around the moon were caused because a dry cold front has slid through, and that's what's brought that moisture to about 20,000 feet. And now those ice crystals are being illuminated by the moonlight. We got hundreds of pictures tonight. I couldn't show them all, but I wanted to at least show you one and give you a sense of what we got. And these clouds here are what are forming that ring around the moon. It happens like four or five times a year, but sometimes you just don't see it because it happens in the middle of the night. More important meteorologically is what's going on to the north. Lake effect snows are going to affect the usual areas, including the, another area of snow that's developing just offshore, throwing snow back from New York to Boston. Boston, Logan Airport, over an hour and a half but behind in their flight schedules for this evening. So ring around the moon in Savannah and snow farther to the north. 52 degrees with those high clouds, 61% relative humidity. Winds are very light. They'll pick up just a little bit more as we go through the night. 65 was our high today for the King holiday. And of course, no visibility problems. Everything's way up high with those high ice crystal moons that uh, caused the ring. Now, as that front pulls away, that dry front that brought us that moisture, the skies will clear all the way and we'll have a beautiful blue sky for tomorrow. High pressure over Mississippi, Alabama. The next cold front will slide by. It'll go through the Carolinas, won't make it to us. And that next shot has another reinforcing shot of cold air. Winds picking up as we go in through the early hours tomorrow. Then they settle down later in the day. This is Tuesday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And actually look like they'll become rather calm late night Tuesday into Wednesday. Next tide will be high at 4.15 in the morning. 10.53 our next low tide. We've got a full moon Speaking of the moon, full wolf moon coming up on Saturday. Expect lots of sound effects with that later in the week. Small craft advisory will be for tomorrow. Northwest winds at 20 to 30 knots. Seas at 4 to 6 feet. That settles down on Wednesday. Northwest winds at 5 to 10 knots. And seas at 3 to 4 feet. First alert, live Doppler Max 11 forecast then for tonight. Basically a clear sky later on tonight. Wind chills dropping down into the 20s. Those high clouds will push farther to the south. 36 should be the overnight low with the northwest breeze developing as we get closer and closer to sunrise. From the 36, 56 and all sunshine expected Tuesday, 28 Wednesday morning. Yep, 20. That's not the coldest temperature of the season so far. We had a 27 in December, but 28, that'll be real chilly. 56 on Wednesday and sunshine, 62 and mostly sunny skies on Thursday. Chance of showers, our next chance Friday, Saturday from 68 back to 53 and mid 50s pushing to near 60 degrees by the end of the seven day forecast period. And it's never too early to look ahead into the weekend. Bluffton Rotary Oyster Roast is coming up on Saturday, along with the Jewish Film Festival actually starting starting Thursday and runs all the way till February 2nd. Their feature Sunday at 7 p.m. includes dinner and a live violin performance for the showing of violins in wartime. Check that out. It's at the JEA and we've got information on our website at WTOC.com. And I'm going to try to put a slideshow together of all the pictures. Oh, there's a lot. Got. Oh, my goodness. A lot, yeah. Some are great. Some are not so hot. But everybody tried and we yeah. really, really appreciate yeah. that. The ring around the moon tonight. And now you know. So tell there all your go. friends and there's nothing to worry Ice about. Ice crystals, don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we all love getting closer to nature, but this 